Okay, we're gonna do a video runoff for APW. So first I'll start with an overall shot, starting at the unload end, coming around the system. The fillers, past, holding tank, coming around past the washer. Okay, unload end, yeah. Coming around the capper. And we have some bottles, cap bottles. And we will start with the runoff. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start the system. We have five bottles skewed. I'm gonna videotape them coming through the first step, which is the decapper. First thing, we're gonna show the decapper dry fire. One more time. Let's show the reject. Oh, one more time. Okay, that's the reject. Here we go. Okay, so now we're gonna shoot the transition into the washer coming out of the decapper. We have five decapped bottles and all right, we're at the load end. Two bottles will come through, hit the counter, it'll count them, they'll go in. Then hit these the bottles, counter. These bottle stops will fire out until this moves forward and slides the bottles in. And then this will open up and let two more bottles come in. And the stops will come out and then this will push forward. Put the bottles into the tray. This is what it does repeatedly as okay. it uh, run it automatically. Very good. Okay, I'm going to break in here now and we're going to show the uh, screens on the test view. So go ahead. First thing you want to do in the morning, you want to take this to a manual mode. You come down where it says washer manual screen and you go to your washer load in. Push that and it takes you into the washer loading only. So you're gonna test to make sure that your pushers are working good. You're gonna bring the load tray up and you're gonna bring the swing arm in. And you're looking for anything. Swing arm one more time, I missed that one. You're gonna push, bring the swing arm in so you can see it, make sure everything's working properly before you start the machine. Okay, and they'll go through training on the HMI screen down there. All right, so I'm gonna pause again, step back out and we'll do the transition.
going to shoot the bottles as they go through the wash system and we'll explain stage by stage what's occurring. I can't hear you yet. Okay, coming in. All right, go ahead. First set of bottles is for the free rinse. That's the first set of nozzles on the free wash. That's the first set of nozzles on the outside of the machine and that rinses out the cap. Okay. Now the bottle's coming in to the first wash header which actually washes the inside of the bottle puts all the pressure in there. And then we come to the next stage which will be inside wash and outside wash. There's a set of wash headers up in top right here. You see the bottle's coming in right now. So right now the inside of the bottle's being washed out with a high pressure and the outside's being washed off with a lower pressure. The next set of headers that comes through is another wash header. So you have to have 60 seconds of contact time in the wash area. And then it goes, the next set of headers that goes, the next thing it goes to is the dwell area, which allows the bottle to actually, you know, drain. Comes out, it drains the bottle off. Once it gets to this area here, it comes into the rinse header, which you'll see it move here in a second. It's in the rinse header right now, this is called first rinse. Rinse, it goes into sanitizing rinse, okay. which is this next header right here it comes to. Sanitizing rinse is not the ozone rinse. This right? is ozone also. Well, that is also the ozone. Oh, water, water. And right. what I'm gonna do now is three grand bottles in there. I'm gonna hit unload only. So now the system's gonna not load any more bottles, but unload only. We go to the next set of headers, which is the ozone rotated grid, which is another sanitation header. But this, this header here has added, added ozone into it for a, to make it really fresh and clean, okay? The next set is going to come out. You know, the dwell area right here, we're sitting there, water dripping out of it. This comes with the dwell area, it comes out. It comes out here, and that goes into the filter. doing a run on mode of the bottles that we put in a few minutes ago. They're starting to come out of the washer. They get ejected, come down, push them up onto the rack, and that, put out that chute, put into the filler. I'm holding these two bottles back so you can see the full, full routine. Now how they come in. You got two bottles just unloaded. Here's two bottles coming in. They come in the filler. They hit the little the switch in front of them. The filler comes down and loads them up. And the sandwich constantly repeats itself over and over and over again. Show the, show the ozone cap squirt. There's, a, there's an ozone sprayer on this side over here. It sprays ozone into the cap to sanitize the cap. Right now we have the caps out, but we're running without caps on it. So when it comes to your place, it'll be full operation. Oh, yeah. The very last witch switch is, it actually triggers the bottle stopper, and it counts the bottles as you come out. So you know what you on your turtle edge, you're going to count in. How many bottles you ran that day? So that'll, that'll total the count of your daily bottle. Okay. And that's what coming to run off. And there's your pack out. Again, we don't have caps on it right now. So we will. As the bottle traverse down the conveyor and hit the fill station, we'll show you how the capper works. Go ahead. Right now we have a spinner ball at the top. We're going to shoot the closer. We want the cap into the spinner ball. They circle around. They come down the cap, shoot itself into the bottom of the bottle. I have them out right now because we're just doing a test run. But the cap, as the bottle leads, it hits a valve on the side, which is sanitizing rinse up in the cap, and then it comes out. It's the switch down below, which is your counter, and it also triggers the, the stomper, which stomps the cap onto the bottle. All right, let me shoot the stomper for a minute. Okay. All right. You're all done with your bottles. You're all done running. Your filler's all done. 
You simply hit the system stop button. And the machine will automatically shut down everything. One at a time. That's a soft, soft shutdown. All right.